Hello my friends, my name is Steve Muniz with Steve Muniz Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat and share my knowledge on anything boating. We are going to do another reaction video on an Ocean Alexander today. We did one yesterday on the 84R, but another article came out and it was the best one that I could find. Um, and so if you were to go to my site, then you would see all the articles and what I'm doing now if you didn't hear yesterday is I'm gonna start filtering and picking the best article and doing a reaction video on that because a lot of you have emailed me and that's what you want so that's what we're gonna do but before that we have a green day in the marine industry stocks again and today is even greener than yesterday um, so congratulations we are doing very well and uh, this is the article. It's about the Alex Ocean Alexander 45 Divergence. Um, again, we went over that article yesterday. We're going to go over this one today. And uh, basically, I'd like to go to the source, which is the website. So this is the boat. It's really, really cool. People are going for the outboards now. And this is a boat that is so loaded it's it's like taking the tiara and the boston whaler and you know putting all the bells and whistles on it and um uh just i mean i'm mentioning those because tiara has something similar to this where it's very comfortable and and, and luxurious and then um, Boston Whaler is kind of known for this outdoor um, day boating, you know, with the option to do um, fishing and diving and exploring. Um, and, uh, and Ocean Alexander is doing that too, but at another level, um, they're used to the bigger boats, but the bigger boats are now going to the smaller boats. Usually it's the smaller boats going bigger, but this one is going smaller and um, and they know how to build boats. So this is the boat. It's the 45 Divergence. I have two videos to show you and let's check them out. So haven't seen these at all. So I'm gonna watch. So right off the bat, quad engine package, um, meaning and you have and you have room on uh, on each side. So this is a uh, this is a big beam. Uh, this beam is where do we got it? Thirteen nine for a forty five. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so let's keep looking. Oh, that's very nice. It's really, really bright, right? Lower this for you, nobody's talking. Look at that side platform. Everybody names it differently. I'm just gonna call it the side platform. And they have two, okay? A lot of these manufacturers are doing just one. But not only that, look at, notice, that's, this is a great shot. And I'll get out of your way. Um, notice, notice the back. You can enter from each side and then you've got the platform. It's a really nice design. And look at the LED lighting, uh, the accent lighting um, underneath steps and, uh, and even underneath the summer kitchen. That's a really nice touch. Let's see. It's a nice boat. 
it's a really really nice day boat okay let's look at the other one real quick and we've got somebody talking about it Genesis uh, and the origin of this uh, particular oh. project started actually almost three plus years ago and um, we contracted Evan Marshall who does all of our design work. Evan Marshall we know who he is Um, he's the guy who designed the 84R that we spoke about yesterday and uh, I have him here because I knew he was I knew he's the designer of this so I wanted to, to show you in our entire range to sit down with us and see what we could come up with in a outboard motorboat look at that I mean There's, uh, I mentioned yesterday that I want to start seeing more center consoles with that nice chiseled look. Um, he did it. He did the chiseled look. But I want to see chiseled look with that, uh, the blade bow design. This one doesn't have it. This one has more of like a normal, normal, uh, you know, that pointy, uh, bow design but I want to see the blade one because that's gonna look cool um, yeah so let's look at that let's keep going here obviously this is a uh, quite a departure for Ocean Alexander and, and what we've done for 40 years very comfortable and, seating. Uh, what we're currently doing all of design um, commissions oh, there is, is. there's always an element of excitement and a new challenge this is particularly a, a new challenge for us because of the size of the boats and also the nature of the boats. It's the first um, boat of the boats of these, this type that we've uh, been asked to design. So that requires a lot of homework, a lot of investigation. I want to go back and see a lot of that. Lot of so that requires a lot of Sorry. design. So that oh. requires a lot of homework. Okay. It's a really nice helm. I like how it's all black. Some people might not like that, but I really like it. Um, look at the dash. They've got three, are those 22 inch screen garments? I can't tell, but they, that's a nice display. Um, and then they've got, it's a really clean look. They've got all, they've got a little, they've got a panel for the, for the um, chart plotters. Um, and then they've got a nice little panel so you can put They've got the spotlight. They've got uh, what is that? Is that the radio? Uh, then they've got the uh, VHF next to the spotlight. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like it has a cover. Then you've got the joystick, the throttles. Underneath that, you've got your bow thruster, uh, or your maybe your stern drive, or maybe both. Um, and you don't need. A bow thruster or stern drive with joystick version but as a backup a lot of these manufacturers do that in case uh, there's some failure what else has he got right above me is the is that the vessel view or is that something else that might be the vessel view for for mercury could be yeah uh, and then all the way above the uh, steering wheel, I don't know what that is. That just looks like maybe that's the vessel view, and then that's something else above me. But it's These, really nice. This type that we've uh, been asked to design, so that requires a lot of homework, a lot of investigation to begin to understand the nature of this new market we're having to design for. And mm -hmm. so for, for us, it's designed. That's a nice summer kitchen. It doesn't even feel like a boat, right? That doesn't feel like. Uh, a boat. Wow, he did a good job at uh, bringing elements of <laughs> of a house. Yeah, I think it's probably the. Um, I don't think that's Corian. That's like maybe it's either a marble or a granite, but um, could be a Corian. Just looks nice. That's extremely exciting because we think we've uh, absolutely nailed a market 
where we're able to provide that family outing and, and do it in a bit of luxury, do it in extreme safety. Uh, and yet at the same time, the entire... That people like now. People are really liking that. ...side of the vessel practically folds down, providing an expansive patio situation. You know you've seen the big yachts, the big mega yachts with that, you know, the balcony that comes down or extends out. Um, I don't know, when somebody thought of that, I wonder what inspired them. I wonder if it was that or if it was just basically, hey, we should just put this gunnel and flip it down. <laughs> unfound on any other boat of this, this size range for sure. So we believe that this boat will find its way to existing OA owners and be towed behind something. It's uh, really comfortable. That looks really, really comfortable. Um, usually when you have this space up in the front, it looks a little crammed. This does not look crammed. This looks like they were able, because it's more boxy, uh, they were able to get it um, looking good. Yeah. Hmm. Could be an illusion, but it looked comfortable. Like our 100 or our 112. Ooh, and dive fact, tank uh, I believe it will become a very competitive boat. The Divergence. Awesome. So, uh, so that's that. They have let me just see how many they've got the divergence just the 45 but they've got a sport and a coupe so the sport looks like that let's duplicate this and let's go back let's just see the difference real quick and then we're done now you can go to oceanalexander.com and you can see what I'm doing here and go and see the boats. So this one is the Sport and this one is the Coupe. Let's look at the difference. The Sport, I can tell right off the bat, the Sport doesn't have this glass uh, enclosure here on the side this one does yeah this is the coupe uh, what else what else what else differences do you see what else do we see there's some differences in the transom here you see that wow uh, the hull looks even I wonder if it's a completely different, I mean, I'm sure the hull is the same, but everything from like mid, mid hull up could be different. Yeah, it looks like the coupe gives you, let's see. So, can I zoom in more? So this is the deck, the upper deck. Um, You've got that nice European style seating in the back. And here, oh, nope, I want to see the deck. Oh, that's the difference. <laughs> the difference is that it's not open up in the front. You've got more cabin in the coupe. So, you can get a very open sport version, they call it. By the way, you see back here? Let me see if I can show you again. Right there. Um, what's cool is that there's a lot of space back there. They were able to get the transom. Well, they were able to hang the motors further back so you can get more of... Um, of walking space you know in the splash well area which there's not really a splash well area it's more of it's so far back that um, this is used for walking space and then you've got the rest of the boat 
Look at that, you can walk around the whole thing. You can, you can fish, you can explore, you can dive. This is a really, really nice day boat. Now, if you want, now let's look at this same boat, okay, with, with the platforms open. Um, and then I wanna see, I wanna see what's inside. I wanna see the interior. Show me the interior. Here we go. Here we go. So you walk down, there's a little V-berth up in the front. That table goes down probably to a bed. It's got a little, uh, it's got a nice head there. There's some nice um, uh, natural lighting coming in. Small little galley, which is great. And then the rest outside is, look, there you go. Goes into a bed. Let's keep looking. It's a nice, really clean look. Mm -hmm. What am I looking at here? Is that a mirror? Oh, it's it, the, it's, it's divided. It's, it's a it's a three part picture. Let's look at the helm. Look at that. I really really like it. I really really like how clean that looks. They've got AC out here. So cockpit AC. I, it looks fully loaded. Da uh, glass, glass windshield all the way to the top of the hard top. You've got three helm seats. Boom, the summer kitchen. What, a TV outside? <laughs> That's nice. I like the lighting up under on the underside of the hard top. I like that a lot. This is a nice boat. Looks cool. I wonder if you can get other engine packages, like can you put Yamahas on there? Or is this just for Mercury? That's a good question. Does the table hide away? Looks like it does. Huh. And then the latches go on top? Yeah. Looks like that table goes down and then these ha these latches go uh the, the hatches go on top. So the table completely goes away. And the fiberglass folding rear bench seat. You've got dive tank racks. If you wanna, the summer kitchen could turn into like a bait well option if you like fishing more. This type of boat, you're gonna see more as a tender to a bigger yacht. Um, but people are gonna go ahead and buy this as their one boat anyway. But this is made probably in mind to cater to that those tender that tender market. Let's look at the coupe real quick, and then we are done. Um, so, I wonder what they're showing here. Just the bilge area? Oh, they're showing. They're showing. They're showing the outside, uh, on the back, but more importantly, they want you to focus down here. So you walk down, and you have, you have two sleeping quarters. So two couples can sleep comfortably on this forty-five which is really nice. And then it looks like that table for the L-shaped seat goes down so you can sleep um, You can sleep two couples and a person, a, 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 a large person or two small people. What is this thing here? Okay, we need to look at some real pictures. Here we go. Let's run through it. It's cool, but I want to see, okay, I wanna see that actually. So it's fully enclosed. 
It's got glass enclosure in the back. Mm-hmm. I asked... I'm sorry. This The site is acting up. It's not letting me uh, scroll through here. That's not good. Okay. We're going to have to skip to this. Okay, so once you go through the glass door into this enclosed area, which I'm sure is AC, you have a really nice comfortable U-shaped seat. That table probably goes down maybe to a little bed. Nice helm, probably looks like half the size of the Sport. Nonetheless, it's still a nice, cool, clean dash and they made it black, I like that. Inside, really nice. Mm-hmm. This is the back. Yeah. I appreciate how they give you they trying to give you as much natural light as possible. So they got those those uh windows on the side. Even in the sh in the shower. <laughs> okay, so that's all they give you. This this is a nice boat. Um, they're both nice. There will be people that like that design and that don't like the design. So, um, but as far as practicality, you can't argue with that. This looks like a really practical boat. Uh, and I like it. Okay, nice job, Evan, for designing that boat. I think we're done. I'm going to look for tomorrow. What's the next article? My name is Steve Maneve with Steve Maneve Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat and share my knowledge on anything boating. You can always connect with me through phone, email or any of my social media channels. I'll see you on the water. You've earned it. It's a nice boat. I want to ride that. I wonder, how, what, I wonder what top speed is and if you can get Yamahas.